Expert warning, it's seven o'clock, Wednesday morning, time for a service of morning prayer from the chapel of Shepherd of the Hills. I will give thee for a light to the Gentiles, that thou mayest be my salvation unto the end of the earth. Let us humbly confess our sins unto Almighty God. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy laws, and we have left undone those things which we ought to have done. And we have done those things which we ought not to have done. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare thou those who confess their faults. Restore thou those who are penitent, according to thy promises declared unto mankind, in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his name's sake, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life, to the glory of thy holy name. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord grant you absolution and remission of all your sins, true repentance, a member of life, and the grace and consolation of his Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The Lord hath manifested forth his glory. O come, let us adore him. Alleluia. Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore let us keep the feast, not with the old leaven, neither with the leaven of malice and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Alleluia. Christ being raised from the dead dieth no more. Death hath no more dominion over him. For in that he died, he died into sin once. But in that he liveth, he liveth unto God. Likewise reckon ye also yourselves to be dead indeed into sin, but alive unto God through Jesus Christ our Lord. Alleluia. Christ is risen from the dead and become the first fruits of them that slept. For since by man came death, by man came also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. Alleluia. Psalm 101 I will sing of mercy and justice to you, O Lord, will I sing praises. I will strive to follow a blameless course. O, oh, when will you come to me? I will walk with sincerity of heart within my house. I will set no worthless thing before my eyes. I hate the doers of evil deeds. They shall not remain with me. A crooked heart shall be far from me. I will not know evil. Those who in secret slander their neighbors, I will destroy. Those who have a haughty look and a proud heart, I cannot abide. My eyes are upon the faithful in the land, that they may dwell with me. And only those who lead a blameless life shall be my servants. Those who act deceitfully shall not dwell in my house, and those who tell lies shall not continue in my sight. I will soon destroy all the wicked in the land, that I may not root out all evildoers from the city of the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Song of Mary My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Saviour. For he hath regarded the lowliness of his handmaiden. For beholdeth from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. For he that is mighty hath magnified me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on them that fear him. Throughout all generations he hath showed strength with his arm. 
He hath scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He hath put the mighty down from their seat and hath exalted the humble and meek. He hath filled the hungry with good things and the rich he hath sent empty away. He remembering his mercy hath hopen his servant Israel as he promised to our forefathers Abraham and his seed forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Truly, truly, I say to you, he who does not enter the sheepfold by the door, but climbs in another way, that man is a thief and a robber. But he who enters by the door is a shepherd of the sheep. To him the gatekeeper opens. The sheep hear his voice, and they call his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought all of them out on his own, he goes before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. A stranger they will not follow, but they will flee from him. They do not know the voice of strangers. This figure of speech Jesus used with them but they did not understand what he was saying to them. So Jesus again said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, I am the door for the sheep. All who come before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep do not listen to them. I am the door. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved and will go in and out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and to kill and destroy. I came that they might have life and have it more abundantly. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for his sheep. He who is the hired hand and not the shepherd does not own the sheep, sees the wolf coming, and leaves the sheep and flees, and the wolf snatches them and scatters them. He flees because he is a hired hand and cares nothing for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own and my own know me, just as the Father knows me and I know the Father. And I lay down my life for my sheep. And I have other sheep that are not in this fold. I must bring them also and they will listen to my voice. So there will be one flock, and one shepherd. For this reason, the Father loves me because I lay down my life that I might take it up again. No one takes it from me but I lay it down at my own accord. I have authority to lay it down, and I have authority to take it up again. This charge I have received from the Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Please join with me in saying the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into the dead. On the third day he arose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us and grant us thy salvation. Endue thy ministers with righteousness and make thy chosen people joyful. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in thee can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under thy care, 
and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let thy way be known upon earth, thy saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with thy Holy Spirit. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, thine unworthy servants, do give thee most humble and hearty thanks for all thy goodness and loving kindness to us and to all men. We bless thee for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for thine inestimable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, by the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we beseech thee, give us that due sense of all thy mercies, that our hearts may be unfaintedly thankful, and that we may show forth thy praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to thy service, and by walking before thee in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost, the all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. The Collect for Charles Todd Quintard Mighty God, we bless thy name for the example of thy bishop Charles Todd Quincard, who persevered to reconcile the divisions among the people of his time. Grant, we pray, that thy church may ever be one, that it may be a refuge for all, for the honor of thy name, through Jesus Christ, who with thee and the Holy Spirit liveth and reigneth. Almighty God, who hast given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication unto thee, and hast promised through thy well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, thou wilt be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants, as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all forevermore. Amen.